welcome to educational channel so algebraic identities so in this topic i'll explain what is identity and how to solve the problems using this algebraic identities and what are the formulas we'll apply and which are the laws we'll apply for this solving these problems and including some other information also including example sums and solve sums also i'll explain you okay this is a complete chapter i'll explain briefly one by one so before going that and in this topic if you want test papers and other syllabus so i mean other subject along with that other chapters also the material is available in this uh, website i'm showing here so i'm providing this link in description below also so this is a website so it's a completely educational website is for free and you can verify this and chapter wise topic wise subject wise other model papers syllabus so, and information is also available subject wise also you can see everything and subscribe the channel because it will upload only videos which are related to the education especially for children okay let us uh, begin this algebraic identities so after algebraic expressions we need to know the perfectly this topic algebraic identities so previous algebraic expressions you must know first then we'll see about identity so what is identity so identity is nothing but is a general formula okay which always holds some true irrespective of the value of the variables involved is called an identity so we have uh, four important formulas first i'll explain you so for that we'll use the distributive law so in earlier classes you already studied the distributive law and all then we'll see what is identity and what are the formulas also we'll apply in this now when you come to the distributive law actually it says distributive law a into b plus c now this we can distribute to b and c the a value so you can write a into b plus a into c so that is distributing a to b and a to c will multiply so a b is equal to a c similarly a plus b into c so a plus b is a expression multiplying with c we can write a c plus b c okay these two are distributed law left and left and right so we will apply in this algebraic identities to find out the product of the formulas okay let us uh, i'll show you one by one first four formulas then we'll go through the example problems now when you come to identity formulas x plus a into x plus b so in the place of a and b any numbers will come in examples so x plus a into x plus b is equal to dash so first we will simplify this now according to a uh, distributive law so each and everything you have to distribute that means x plus a total first expression will multiply with first term of the second expression plus again total first expression that is x plus a will multiply with the second term of the second expression each and every term you need to multiply that is splitting now individually multiply x into x x square plus a into x is ax so these both you multiply so already you studied previous x into x and a into x that is x square and ax again x into b so xb plus a into b is ab right we need to simplify this x square and middle two terms x is a common so a plus b into x from middle two terms plus a into b so finally x plus a into x plus b so we can write it as x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b okay this is the first identity we will apply just if you remember such type this type of identities is very easy to solve the problems also the first one now let us see the one more same x plus a into x plus b but sign will be changed now let's see one more the second one that is x plus a as it is but second expression is negative sign x minus b x plus a into x minus b now this value first we will uh, split it that means 
So take the first term of the first expression. Like this also you can make it x into complete second expression plus a into x minus b. Okay, here in first expression, second expression, two expressions, take the first term and multiply this complete uh, second expression. Again, take the second term, again multiply complete. So this is the way you can do algebraic expressions, uh, multiplications already studied previous. So I am applying this for finding the formula. That is x square minus x into b is xb or bx plus a into x is ax minus a into b is ab. Now to simplify this x square okay after plus I want to take one common here. If I want to take x common here is plus a and minus b. So writing in order a minus b minus a into b. So this is the x plus a into x minus b for identity formula. So that is we can conclude like this. So x plus a into x minus b. So negative uh, sign in between. So that is x square plus a minus b into x and that is minus ab. Okay. This is the second uh, identity can remember. Next I will show you how to use this uh, formula 1 and formula 2 in problems. Okay. The first one now and second. Then you see third and fourth same first now second x term middle sign we change right. Now if you observe this third one. So here I am taking x minus a first one x minus a and second is x plus b. First we took both positive middle next second time first is positive second negative. Now first is negative second is a positive. Okay middle only sign I am changing let us are same. Now we have minus and next is plus. Now when we simplify this take the first term multiply complete second expression distributing minus a into x plus b. Okay now simplify this x into x x square x into b is xb or bx minus this is ax plus into minus minus oh sorry a into b is ab. So that is a into b is ab. <coughs> yeah now try to simplify middle two terms. So x is square plus I want to take common in between. That is b minus a. x is common from middle two terms minus ab. Now this is the third formula we can write like this. Therefore x minus a into x plus b. So is equals to x square plus b minus a x minus a b. So it is a fourth. So alternate also you can write in the place of a minus b minus a if I write a minus b you can keep the negative sign in front. In that way I can make it and fourth one both negative you take that is x minus a into x minus b so x is same and in the place of a b numbers you can take now when you apply the distributor for this so x into x minus b again minus a into same x minus b Okay, try to simplify this. Now x into x, x square minus b into x is bx. Now second term. This a into x is ax minus into minus plus a into b is ab. Fine. You simplify now. Middle two terms I need to take common minus. If you take minus common completely minus of x middle will get a plus b. Because minus also to common. So minus b becomes plus b and minus a becomes plus a plus a b. This is the one. Therefore we can write this as together if you make. So x minus a into x minus b is equals to x square minus a plus b into x 
plus AB. Right? These are so these are the four you need to remember to solve the problems. Okay, these are the four. So first fourth and above is third, and when you come to a second and followed by one. So these are the four identities. So I'm writing all together once to get clear idea. Now see observe here. First one is x plus a into x plus b. So need not to remember everything is proof, but you must know how the problem also how the formula came. So just remember that formula it is. So when is both are positive, x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b. So constant will multiply. And second one already proved that is x plus a. Next is negative. That is x minus b. So this small change x square plus a minus b of x minus a b it is. Okay. And third fourth. So x minus a. And x plus b. First is negative, second is positive here, middle. Now this is x square plus in the place of a minus b, it's a b minus a. a small change minus a b. Now when both are positive or negative in middle, so x minus a into x minus b. That is x square minus of a plus b x plus a b because minus to minus plus will come finally okay these are the identities the main important identities you need to remember so then we'll i'll explain you the four problems using these four how to solve the problems first i'll explain then you'll go for remaining formulas also so using the product of sum and difference so other formulas are there which are related to this algebraic identities also i'll explain now, if you remember, able to remember this, then we will solve the numerical sums. So, how the questions will come? So, using based on this identity, which identity we need to apply and how to solve? So, I will explain you now.